As a UI designer, it's important to know the common mistakes that people make so you can avoid them at all costs if you want to create a beautiful and user-friendly interface. Hey there, my name is Arash and in this video, I'm going to talk about the most common UI design mistakes most beginners make. Now, as a designer myself, I can tell you that it's really important to avoid making these common mistakes if you want your users to have a good experience with your product. So whether you are just starting out or you are a junior designer, make sure to watch this video all the way through so that you don't make any of these costly mistakes. Are you ready? Let's begin. Mistake number one not using contrast correctly. This is probably the most common mistake I see people make when it comes to UI design. When choosing colors for your product, it's important to create a high contrast between the foreground and background so that your users can easily read the text. For example, a common mistake people make is using a light gray color for the text on a white background. This low contrast makes it very difficult for users to read the text especially if they are trying to do so on small screens. So how can you avoid this issue? Well, you can use a contrast ratio checker. If you're using Figma or any other design tool, there are many useful plugins allowing you to check the contrast ratio of your colors across your project. I personally use Contrast, which is a great plugin in my opinion. Mistake number two, not using white space effectively. Another common mistake I see is not using white space correctly. White space, also known as negative space, is the area around your UI elements. It's important to use white space correctly because it can help to create a hierarchy and visual structure for your design. For example, if you have a lot of text on a page, you can use white space to break up the text into smaller chunks so that it's easier for users to read. Conversely, if you have a lot of UI elements on a page, you can use less white space to group those elements together so that they are easy to find and interact with. Mistake number three, lack of consistency throughout the design. Consistency is key in any design, but it's especially important in UI design. This is because users need to be able to navigate your product and understand how it works easily. If your UI is not consistent, it will be much more difficult for users to use your product. For example, if you use different colors for different sections of your product, it can be confusing for users to know where they are and what they need to do. Likewise, if you use different fonts or iconography throughout your product, it can also be confusing for users. So how can you create a more consistent UI? Well, you can start by using a style guide or a design system. A style guide is a document that outlines the colors, fonts, iconography, shadows, and more. Mistake number four, designing for yourself, not your users. A lot of designers make the mistake of designing for themselves instead of their users. This is a big mistake because at the end of the day, it's your users who are gonna be using your product not you. So it's important to design with your users in mind and make sure that you're solving their problems. For example, if you're designing a social media app, you need to think about what your users want and need from the app. Do they want to be able to post photos? Do they want to be able to message other users? Do they want to be able to find new friends? Once you know what your users want, you can start designing your UI around those needs. And please, don't fall in love with your design. Mistake number five, not using real data. When designing your UI, it's important to use real data as much as possible. This is because real data will help you to understand how your users interact with your product and what they need from it. For example, if you're designing a social media app, you should use real data from your users to understand how they interact with the app and what features they use the most. This will help you to design a more user-centric UI. Likewise, if you're designing an e-commerce site, you should use real data from your users to understand their shopping habits and try to design your UI around that. Mistake number six, overusing animations. Animations can be a great way to add some visual interest to your UI and make it more engaging for users. However, it's important to use animations adequately. This is because too many animations 
can be overwhelming and distracting for users. Additionally, if you're not careful, animations can make your UI feel cluttered and busy. So how can you avoid this mistake? For example, if you're designing a button, you might want to animate the button when it's clicked so that users know that something is happening. Or if you're designing a menu, you might want to animate the menu so that it slides into view when users hover over it. Mistake number seven, poor use of color schemes. Have you ever come across a UI design that looks like this and wondered what's wrong with it? The issue is not picking the right colors. Creating a good color palette is one of the most important things in design. This is because color can be used to create contrast, highlight certain elements, and create a certain mood or tone. However, it's important to use color wisely because using too much color can be overwhelming and distracting for users. Additionally, using the wrong colors can make your UI feel dated and unappealing. So how can you avoid this mistake? Well, you can start by doing some research on color theory. This will help you to understand how colors work together and how to use them effectively in your UI design. Mistake number eight, creating complex navigation menus. Navigation is the other important aspect of UI design. That's because navigation menus help users to understand where they are in your product and how to get to where they wanna go. However, it's important to keep your navigation menus simple. That's because complex navigation menus can be confusing and frustrating for users. So how can you avoid this mistake? You can start by keeping your navigation menu items concise and easy to understand. Additionally, you should use icons or images to help users understand what each menu item does. Mistake number nine, forgetting about mobile users. In today's world, it's more important than ever to design for mobile users because more and more people are using their smartphones and tablets to access the internet. Therefore, if your UI is not designed and optimized for mobile, you are likely to lose a lot of potential users. So how can you avoid this mistake? Well, you can start by making sure that your UI is responsive. This means that your UI will adjust itself automatically to fit any screen size. Additionally, you should design your UI specifically for touch screens. This means that your buttons and links should be large enough to be tapped easily and your menus should be easy to navigate. Mistake number 10, ignoring user feedback. User feedback is crucial for UI design. This is because user feedback can help you to understand what users like and don't like about your UI. Additionally, user feedback can help you to identify any areas where your UI needs improvement. So how can you get user feedback? Well, one way is to use beta testers. Beta testers are users who test your product before it's released to the general public. This can give you valuable insights into your UI and how users interact with it. Another way to get user feedback is to use analytics tools. These tools track how users interact with your product and they are so helpful. So if you're not already using user feedback to improve your UI, now is the time to start. Now that you've learned these 10 mistakes to avoid, I'd like you to take a look at this interface and tell me what's wrong with it and how it can be improved in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Have a great day and see you soon.